At Viking Electronics, we sell and design and support and troubleshoot a lot of paging systems. So we put this list of questions together to help you design your paging system. Hey folks, I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics, a manufacturer of high quality security and communication products based in Hudson, Wisconsin, US of A. On this channel, we bring you product info, tech updates, and industry trends. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and click that little bell for all notifications of our new video releases. So I've got these organized into two separate sections. The first one is going to help you determine how many speakers you might need for your area. And the second section is going to determine the amplifier needs uh, check out the timestamps down below uh, i know it says 10 questions but i've actually got a bonus number 11 for you if you stay till the end so check that out too number one not very complicated how large is the space number two what is the layout of the space is it a rectangle a square multiple rooms multiple buildings do they have one floor or do they have multiple floors Question number three, ambient noise level. How loud is this space, daily operations? How loud is it? What's going on? Is there you know, loud machinery, trucks pulling in and out? Is it a quiet office space? I'm gonna take this opportunity to throw out the question of the day. This is a tough one. What is louder, 40 decibels or 70 decibels? And approximately how much louder is it? Ah, two-parter, two-parter. Let us know in the comments section down below. We'll see how many of you have been paying attention to Vikings videos. Question number four, what is the purpose of the space? This is going to affect ambient noise levels. It's also going to affect some of the layout. You know, manufacturing is gonna have a very different layout from an office, which will have a very different look and feel from a warehouse with all those aisles of shelves that are gonna dampen your sound and they'll cut reverberations, which is nice. Is it a lot louder when the machines are on versus when the machines are off? You know, do you have quite a bit the noise change variable noise levels throughout the day. Question number five is, do they want paging zones? If it's a multi-use space, like maybe it is a manufacturer who's got a front office and also a warehouse, do they need the ability to page into the office separately from the warehouse and manufacturing? And then do they also wanna do an all call where they get everybody at the same time? How many zones are there? And then do they need to be volume controlled? Meaning do you need to have you know different levels probably for the office than you do the manufacturing space? Question number six is sort of an odd one. It's really important for how loud the page comes across is how high are your ceilings that's going to affect how close or far you put your speakers away from each other it's also going to affect the distance of the speaker away from your ear that can have a tremendous impact on how clear the page sounds and also how loud it stands out against the ambient noise all right to determine amplifier needs we're going to start with question number seven what is your paging source now this could be voice over IP phones. It could be a multicast page. It could be analog phone or uh, extension or a trunk port or line level audio or a microphone. You need to determine what your paging source is because that will determine what inputs you need on your amplifier. Also, one thing to note is where is your paging source located? If you've got a phone or a microphone and you're doing a page from the manufacturing floor with a speaker nearby, that could feed back. So you may need to be conscious of where your paging source is located. Questions number eight and nine. Are there going to be emergency or non-emergency mass notification tones as a part of this paging system? This could be as simple as a doorbell. It could be a fire alarm or an alarm panel. What are those tones or messages and how are they going to be inputted into the amplifier to be broadcast? It could be a contact closure, it could be a phone call. It could just be an audio signal, like a line level audio, 600 ohm signal. Make sure your amplifier is going to provide an available input for that emergency or non emergency notification. Hey, if you're getting value from this, make sure to hit that like button down below. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get the notifications when we release new videos. Questions 10 and 11 kind of work together. So let me just start with number 10, cable run lengths. The distance that you're going to run your furthest speaker can have a tremendous impact on what gauge cabling you need to run. The further this farthest speaker is from the amplifier and the more speakers that are on that cable run, the thicker gauge cable you typically need to run. 
that's going to play right into question number 11. What type of speaker do you have? This is going to have a huge impact on what amplifier you pick. Not only do you need to be aware of how many inputs you need for your amplifier and is it compatible with your paging source, but if you've got 70 volt speakers, you need a 70 volt amp. If you have an 8 ohm speaker system, you need an 8 ohm amplifier. Size of the space, layout of the space, max cable run can all determine if you want to go 70 volt or 8 ohm. If you have some tips or tricks to add of your own, let us know in the comment section down below. Check out these additional resources for continued education and learning. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.